Well, hello there, YouTube. My name is Tony, and this is Tony Live TV. And in this video, I'm going to cover three critical components of the 560 SL, along with how I would diagnose each of them using a multimeter. So sit back, relax, and let's get this video started. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe and click the bell while you're at it. This here is where your fuse box is. That overload protection relay is behind this panel. And to get this panel off, you have two screws here, one here, one here, and then this screw here. After I'm done looking at this, I will test each one of those fuses while I'm here. Slide this up and then out, down and out. Next, I'll remove these 10 millimeters one here and then there's one on this other side. You might even have a screw, a Phillips head screw on the other side. I don't believe mine does. 10 millimeter with a, a large washer. And then right back here, one on each side, there's a, for me, I have a, one of these. It's just a little clip but you might have a screw. I have one of those on each side here. So now this thing can come down comes right down, no problem. There's where the relay is, can you see it? So this is what it looks like. And it has this little cover on there, which you can pop open. Just like that. I, have, I actually have the battery disconnected, just so you know. There's the fuse, it looks good. And now we'll test it. That fuse tests good. glove box liner, you've got to remove this thing here. There's one on each side and then there's one on each side here. And then of course you have that light that you need to pop out of there. And then that back panel, I'm going to pop that out first. These things here remove the same kind of way. Just like that. And for this, I'll just use this. And that can go back up in there. And well, I'm gonna remove each one of these things now, because they have to come out as well. And 
this is what they look like and you'll remove all four of them. Now it's just a matter of pulling it out really. Taking that liner out was the easy part. You can see right back there, behind this one with the label, there's another one, which you can't even see. That would be your fuel pump relay. So you have to hold the, the harness part from underneath here while you pull up and wiggle back and forth until you, it comes out. There we go. That's the idle speed controller. That's the one with the label on it. Same thing, you gotta hold this thing down so you can have enough room to pull it out ah, at the top. All right. We can remember the orientation is the majority of these are facing this way. <laughs> 